Katie, and we run Settle. So this time last year, we were pitching at the year here, Crowdbacker, and we won funding to pilot Settle in 2015. So we thought we'd come back to tell you a bit about how we've got on. So I want to start by telling you a bit about the story behind Settle and where the idea came from. So last year, I was working at Centrepoint Homeless Hostel in Camden, where I was supporting homeless young people. And a big part of my role was to deliver life skills training to young people who are ready to leave the hostel and start living by themselves. Now, unfortunately, the workshops that I was running weren't well attended. I guess like most 16-year-olds, their enthusiasm for learning about budgeting or tenancy rights and responsibilities was quite limited. So while I was at Centrepoint, Katie was on the other side of London, working on a similar issue for South London YMCA. And we both left our placements with the same insight. The young people are leaving hostels, frighteningly unprepared to live independently. So we went away and researched the problem a bit further, and what we found was a vicious cycle of youth homelessness. Now to put this in perspective, around 80,000 young people experience homelessness <coughs> every year in the UK, and the majority of these are staying in hostels. And when it's time for them to leave the hostels, they often leave in no better position than when they originally arrived. A report by Shelter found that 50% of young people leaving hostels lack the skills needed to live independently. To make matters worse, 62% of homeless young people become homeless because of a relationship breakdown. And with the loss of that relationship, which is usually their parents, a lot of that key advice, financial and emotional support that you or I would rely upon when moving out for the first time has gone. So with little support, this is a really precarious moment for these young people. And we really wanted to design a practical solution to this problem that would manage this difficult transition by equipping young people with the skills needed to live independently. So what we came up with is Settle. And Settle is a service for vulnerable young people moving into their first home. It's a six week training program that consists of six <coughs> weekly training sessions and the program kicks in when a young person starts their first tenancy. We've designed a curriculum that uh, targets the skills and behaviours that are needed to ensure a successful transition to independence. So this is our curriculum and it's divided into four areas. So it's how to manage your money, how to maintain a tenancy, looking after your well-being and how to look, link into the local community. The sessions themselves are very practical and hands-on, whether that's looking through a bank statement to put together a monthly budget, or cooking a healthy meal from scratch. And we recruit young people who've completed the program to volunteer for us because they have first-time experience of these problems, so they make for the perfect volunteers. So as Rich said, um, the year since we um, <coughs> last pitched at the Crowdbacker has been really about proving the, val the value of the service um, that we offer. So we want to make sure that we're actually making the changes that we want to see in young people and they're, they're really moving forward and less likely to move back to homelessness. We also wanted to prove that our service was something worth buying so that housing providers in London could see the value of the intervention we we're making and make the investment um, in training their young people. Um, so in March, we began the programme for the first time, uh, working with Origin Housing, who are a housing association in Enfield. And we've worked with 10 young people since then. We've seen a really wide range of success stories um, from one girl who had been told by the job center that she wouldn't be able to open a bank account because she didn't have photo ID, um, but we managed to open a bank account for her. Um, to three young people who completed the program who are now volunteering with us. One of the biggest success stories we saw was with um, Grace, who was street homeless when she moved into Origin Housing. Um, she'd been sofa surfing and uh, sleeping in parks for six months before she moved in. And although this was a big stabilizing force for her, she now had somewhere to go back to at the end of every day. Um, she was in actually quite a precarious moment because she was growing rent arrears. She, was, she didn't have the skills to budget the money that she had coming in and she just received a first letter when we met with her to say that she could be evicted for the debt that she was, she was building. Um, and all of this was putting quite a big strain on Grace's mental health. So together we decided to work on her budgeting skills to get her rent arrears down. And um, 
we signposted her to Enfield Mind, which is a local mental health service. And um, by the end of the program, we saw a real turnaround in that Grace was in credit in a rent account. And she'd actually managed to secure an apprenticeship with Ginkgo, who are a landscape gardening uh, company. And so now she has a job, which is amazing. Um, looking forward, we're really thrilled that we now have three contracts working in three London boroughs. Um, this year we'll work with 65 young people in London. Um, and we've just been nominated for a National Housing Award. Um, so we're really thrilled to have been able to come back <laughs> and um, tell you a bit about our progress and can't wait to see what these guys have done by this time next year. Thank you very much.